Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Keat and welcome to Teachers Tech. Just got the twins to bed and I'm ready to make a video here and tonight I'm going to make a video about Adobe Spark. It was just released and I was taking a look at it and I think this is a, a really great program and I like the price of it because it's free to use, very easy to use and I see great implications for the education system or people just wanting to kind of share their stories. Kind of reminds me of Microsoft uh, Sway uh, in a bit uh, with some of its presentation and the style but Adobe makes it and so it's a very professional looking product. So let's take a look through Adobe Spark. So as I mentioned before, this is a free product here that Adobe has created. I did read that uh, that they might one day add more features that might be a premium service, but for now, and then you'd have to pay for it, but for now, this is a free product, and what you see here is what you get, and they said that they would keep what what is free now forever free so uh, just some information I read about this product so I'm just gonna go ahead and start now for free uh, I've already used one of my uh, Google accounts to log in you can see you can log in through Facebook Google or sign up for free I'm just gonna go through in my Google account here I'm gonna pick a different one than I had this morning here uh, let me do that again here uh, and I'm just gonna allow this here and once you log in, uh, what you'll notice is you'll get three different uh, choices uh, to create on. So when I log in, you can see there's a plus symbol right here, which will symbolize to create my new uh, product. So if I uh, projects, uh, you can see I have three different things I can do. I can post, which are social uh, social posts and graphics. I can create a page, web story. And I found this one really cool, um, you know, very easy to use and created a, a nice display. And this video, uh, this video animated video, very easy to use and uh, creates a very nice, uh, you know, narration story uh, for students or for anybody wanting to uh, create, uh, you know, just to tell a visual story. Uh, another way to do, I'm just going to hit the X up here. Another way you can go into it is through uh, the vertical lines up here, the hamburger up here. So you can see uh, you get the post and the page and the videos here. We have our logout uh, down below and some of the um, uh, support features through here. This is also available for apps on your iOS devices so you can use it on web base or on your iOS uh, on your iOS uh, operating systems too. So uh, another thing I like about this is they actually have uh, with the inspiration galleries uh, you can kind of click through and see examples of what people have done. Uh, so when you're creating if you want ideas or if your students want ideas they can look through examples and see uh, what people have done and it uh, you know it just you know I think helps to that creativity Activity, uh, getting different ideas. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and start creating something and for my purposes I'm just going to hit this plus. I'm going to start with a post and I'm just going to show one example uh, from each one to show you how it works here. Uh, and then I notice it does this with this login um, again and I switch back and forth uh, when I hit the post each time. Uh, so when I log in though, uh, so all you have to do to start, it just will um, ask you kind of like your title. Uh, I notice the way they kind of uh, walk you through things. It's kind of like a story. You're creating a story all the time. So in this case, let's say, um, I'm just going to say my first uh, spark. Okay. So I'll hit continue. And uh, so what it does, it just kind of picked one there for de by default. And I could have picked a different one uh, from the beginning, but I'm just going to hit the resize up here. And what you'll notice down the size, uh, side here is I have all these different social posts, like from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Um, I'm just going to scroll down to this YouTube one because something I would use a lot uh, with my thumbnails for YouTube uh, would be this one right here. So I'll just click on this one and it will work the same one depending on what you need. Uh, if you needed to create something for Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. Uh, but uh, once you uh, start on this, what you can uh, what you can see, if I just click on it right away, you can see how easy it is just to click add text. I'll just write hello and hit save and it comes up there. So uh, again, you can see the twist and the resizing is all right there. I can move it around on it. Uh, I'm just going to go through uh, some of the uh, different functions on this one. So I'm going to go, uh, well, first of all, you notice you can see the background, how it can change here. Uh, you can also, if I uh, click on it, I'm just going to delete this one so you can see it better again. Uh, I like this little feature here. I can just rotate this little wheel around and it's going to scroll through all my different uh, styles that I can go through. So you can kind of move uh, move around just like this. I mean, if you wanted to go back, if you forgot where you were originally, you can hit the, the cancel here. But I thought that was kind of a neat way uh, to add it. So you can see the shapes. Uh, you can click and add uh, change the shapes. 
uh, that you want simply by going through and you can move those around. I'm going to just hit keep hitting cancel on this one. Uh, you can see I can add the text there. I'm going to go back up to my theme. So the theme, if I wanted a different theme, uh, it will change it up as I click uh, click through them too. So uh, I have the palette if I want my different colors to show through. Uh, my color theme and I have my photos. Uh, what I can do if I hit replace, you can see I can find the photos. I can uh, use Creative Cloud, uh, Lightroom or Dropbox or the Google Photos. It will connect through there or I could upload the photo to put into here. Uh, and again, the text here to add. So very simple to use. At the end, when you create what you want, you can just hit the share button uh, right here. You notice there's the download right here. Sometimes you might get a watermark. I noticed on the first few times I logged in and it said, um, it would say Spark with that, uh, or yeah, something like Spark, my first Spark or uh, with a hashtag and then it said if once you share it once on Twitter or Facebook then that goes away but I don't see it on this one uh, unless I already shared it once to do the test uh, so you can see uh, you can download it here uh, simply go, uh, download you can uh, open it up uh, from there and it'll be I'll just open it up so you can see there you get the uh, image there that is downloaded as a JPEG there so uh, I'm just gonna go over to the next one here so I'm just gonna go back to over here to my projects and then you can see this is what I created the first time in here. If I wanted to delete it, duplicate, rename it, all through here, I can do it uh, at this part. And the share button is right there too. So I'm just going to create the next one here. And I thought this page one was really cool here. So I'm just going to click on this page. And uh, what you do is kind of just a scrolling down. This one kind of reminded me of Microsoft Sway a little bit more. Um, I'm just going to say... Uh, Let's just type in, and I'm going to do one on, I'm going to do flying here. So I'm not going to add a subtitle, but I'm, I'm going to just click. I just clicked on anywhere, and I'm going to add a picture to the background here. Uh, so let's do, I'm going to uh, find photos, and I'm just going to put in, um, let's type in airplane here. And I'll just pick anyone, and you can see it goes to the background. Uh, so, but as I scroll down, I can uh, I can hit the plus down here, and then there's new features. What I can add, I can add more photos, I can add text, I can add a link, video, uh, photo grid. Um, I'm going to just add this uh, glide show. I thought this was kind of cool here. As I add the glide show, I'm just going to click on a few different pictures to add to this. I'll just add the four, and I'll hit save. I'll just hit save here and you notice so as I go up to the top where it was starting before uh, it just has a different uh, little dynamic feel too as it's moving uh, through it and it kind of scrolls through the pictures this way uh, as I scroll down to it and I can add you can see on each one I could add a uh, photo text link or video rate one as I rate on each one as I get through it too so as I get to the bottom here you can see I get the plus again I could go to the photo grid this time and I'll just click on a on a few more pictures just to add a few so you can see how this uh, how this works and I'll hit save here and now as I, I as I scroll through it you get a little bit of a uh, as you can see how it kind of uh, goes through displays the pictures here and I can add the caption uh, add the caption here you have the preview button right up top here so if I was going through it you can see how it would look um, on the preview here too. So it makes it very, very easy to add things like text or images just by clicking on it anywhere. So yeah, simply just click on it and you can see how you can edit the grid or delete the grid. And I just keep on adding more and more things as I work my way down. So uh, as I said, I thought this one was very close to Microsoft Sway, uh, very, uh, very easy to tell that visual attractive story uh, in this format here too. So I'm just gonna get out of this one and go uh, lastly to the videos here. So I'm gonna create a new video. And uh, so I'll talk, I'll just call this my first spark still. And I'll go next. And so what I like about this, it, uh, it has an option of walking you through, um, kind of telling your story here. So you can promote an idea, tell what happened, hero's journey, show and tell. And at the very end, you can see there's make up your, uh, your own from scratch. And I'm gonna pick uh, one of these ones uh, just so you can see uh, how it works. Uh, let's say, I'll just say, tell what happens. And uh, so it kind of wants to, I like how it kind of tells you kind of to fill in the blank, like you're writing a story and it gives you an idea for each slide. So this isn't, uh, this is more of an animated narration one. Uh, what you'll get is, so 
uh, you can put pictures in it and text and you can talk and it will yeah over the slides and then you're telling the story based on the visual that you're putting behind it here and so what the template uh, did here uh, what you can do as you click on each one you can kind of see what they're doing is uh, all they're doing is say well who is it about and then when and where so it's kind of cueing you to the points that you should put in there uh, if you want to record your voice as you go through you just have to click and hold down this button and then it'll record your voice over top of those slides. Uh, you can see there's the icon photo. If I go back uh, uh, to this one, so if I if I want to type a icon or something in it, so I'll just type, I'll just, I'm just going to type hat. Uh, this is just for example, not very creative I know, and then uh, you can see there's a number of icons, whatever uh, you search, so I'm just going to, I'll click on that and then you can see the icons would appear in there. So uh, when and where, you can see with the photos again, um, I'll just go, I'll go back to this one and I'm going to just type in hat again here. This way I don't have to show my uh, typing speed here, so I'm just going to pick on, uh, pick this one in here. So if any time you want to see any of how it's looking so far, you can just hit the uh, play button here. And so it just plays on the slide. I can preview the whole thing up top like I did before. And you notice there was a little bit of music here. So you can quickly change the music up here by clicking on any of these right here. Uh, we have our themes um, that we can quickly change. And again, this is so easy to use all this stuff. This is what I really like about this program. Uh, just within a few clicks of anybody logging in, they can be producing something here. Uh, and it looks very professional. Uh, so you can see, I can just click through it here change things up very easily. I have uh, layouts that I can change uh, through here as I continue uh, through. So again, it, it's very, very easy to use. And at the end, you can hit the share button here uh, and then you can share it to different ways or you can download it as an MP4 too. So I hope you like this little walk through of Adobe Spark. I think this is going to be a, a, a program that gets used lots over the next year and I'm kind of excited to see how they add more features to this. Great for education or for anybody just wanting to tell that visual story. So remember I create these weekly video tips. If you like these type of things please subscribe to my channel. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you think uh, this will help some other people and share it away. Uh, and thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.